Hey everyone and welcome to another day of prayer at noon. It's good to be with you. I hope that you enjoyed the message this past weekend where Pastor Steve challenged us to live our lives differently as aliens in this world. Now, he said that because that is how we build the kingdom of God. See, when we live our lives differently, it creates some curiosity in others. Curiosity about where we find our peace when we're in trouble. Curiosity uh, about our confidence in God when the world is shaken. Curiosity about even our love for one another. It's that curiosity that so often leads to deeper conversations with others because people are frankly looking for those things. People all around us are looking for peace. They're looking for love. They're looking for hope. Those can be powerful opportunities to share the gospel with those around us if we are ready to do it. And so I think the question that I want to uh, look into today is how do we get ready for it? First uh, Peter chapter 3, verse 15, we read it in the message this past weekend, but it says, But in your hearts revere Christ as Lord. Always be prepared to give an answer to everyone who asks you to give the reason for the hope that you have. I think the secret to being prepared, uh, Pastor Steve actually mentioned when he talked about the marks of a spiritual movement. Uh, there are two things. There's a commitment to prayer and courage to share our story. We need to know that when we pray for other people in our circles where we live, work, and play, we're actually uh, releasing God's power into that situation, into uh, those unbelievers' lives. We're sort of like tilling the soil before you plant a garden. We're kind of sending God to loosen things up. And God does. He goes before us. He begins to open up their hearts a little bit more. Prayer also allows us to open our eyes to new opportunities or uh, opportunities with folks that, that we've had conversation and relationship with before and they've, they've never been receptive to. Maybe uh, that prayer allows us to realize that the, this is the right time to share our story, to share the gospel with them. And so prayer is important for us as well. It helps us to open our eyes. And prayer also helps us to have the courage to share. Share the gospel, to share our, our story, share our experience of how God has been moving and working in our lives. You know, you get to tell that person who was curious about your hope, about how you found that hope. You get to tell that person who is struggling with peace because of past sins who offered you that peace and that forgiveness from your sins. Psalm uh, chapter 71 verses 15 through 18 says it beautifully. It says, My mouth will tell of your righteousness, of your salvation all day long, though I know not its measure. I will come and proclaim your mighty acts, O Sovereign Lord. I will proclaim your righteousness, yours alone. Since my youth, O God, you have taught me, and to this day I declare your marvelous deeds. Even when I am old and gray, do not forsake me, O God, till I declare your power to the next generation, your might to all who are to come. That the psalmist wants to, to continue to talk about what God has done in their lives. So I want you to ask yourself a couple honest questions. You know, is there someone in your life that ought to hear about the mighty acts that God has done for you? Is there someone in your circles where you work, live, or play who needs to hear that God loves them? Sharing your story, sharing the gospel, it doesn't need to be difficult. It doesn't need to be scary. We don't have to have all the answers. But I want you to be prepared. I'd encourage you this week to just try it at home. Try that three-minute testimony that we talked about on the weekend. 
Think about what you might say. You know, first, you just need to say, well, who were you before you encountered Jesus Christ? Then, talk about how you met him, how you came to know him as your savior. And finally, share how that moment has changed your current reality, how it's changed you. We ought to live our lives differently. We ought to look for those opportunities and be ready to share when the time comes. We need to be prepared to let others know about the hope that we have in Jesus Christ. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, God, we thank you that there are opportunities all around us. And we ask right now that you open our eyes that we might be able to see them. God, help open our eyes to uh, see the, the ways that we can live our lives differently to make others ask questions about our hope, about our peace, about our love for one another. God, we also ask that you give us the courage, a supernatural courage to share our story, to share your love for those around us. Father, we praise you and we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen.